Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about live wire action. Live wire action is used to listen to page interactions and also call a method on live wire component. So now let's see how can we use live wire action. So first of all, let's create a new live wire component. So switch to the command prompt and uh, creating the new live wire component. Let's type here the command php artisan make colon live wire space component name uh, let's say component name is action all right now press enter component created now run the application switch to the project and uh, just open component view files so just go inside the resources directory then views live wire and uh, from here just open action component view file all right now let's see the uh, click uh, action first so uh, let's create a button here so just type here button and uh, type is equal to button and inside this button just add here a text uh, let's let's say text is some all right now save this file and now let's create the route for this component so just go inside the uh, routes directory and uh, web.php and now just create here route get add here the uri action and uh, just add here the component class name so just type here action all right and also add here the component class path all right and uh, now just add here column column class now save this file and uh, let's check this button so switch to the browser and uh, let's go to the url action and here you can see this button all right now let's see the click event uh, click uh, action so just go inside the action action component uh, class file so just go inside the app directory then http live wire and just open action.php file and inside this uh, class file uh, let's create a property uh, public dollar sum all right and now let's create a function here public function and let's say function name is add two numbers right and inside this uh, function just add here two parameter two argument number one and uh, dollar number all right and inside this function just uh, some uh, just add uh, these two numbers okay so just write here dollar this and save inside this put the, the sum of this number inside this sum property okay so just write here dollar this sum is equal to dollar num1 uh, dollar num1 plus dollar num2 all right now save this file now just go inside the uh, component view file and uh, for adding here uh, click action just write here wire colon and uh, action name which is click and inside this click just call uh, this function okay add two numbers so just copy and paste here and inside this function just pass two, uh, two number so in the first argument just i'm going to type here 32 and second argument uh, let's say 55 all right now let's uh, display this sum uh, property inside this view component view file so just add here sum and inside the double curly bracket just write here dollar sum all right now save this file now let's check this so 
switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right now just click on some uh, this button and here you can see the number 87 all right if i change the number here uh, like uh, 40 and here 50 all right now save this file and refresh the page now click on button and here you can see the number 90 all right now let's see the key down action okay key down action so for that just uh, go inside this uh, action component view file and uh, inside this let's create a text area so just type the text area and uh, inside this action component class file uh, let's create a function here public function and a function name uh, let's say function name is display message all right and inside this function just add here one argument msg all right and uh, here let's create a property uh, public dollar message all right now assign this msg inside this message property okay so let's write here dollar this arrow message is equal to dollar msg this one all right now save this file now just call this function on uh, key down event so inside this text area just write here wire colon key down and just add here the key uh, name or uh, let's say key name is enter okay when enter, uh, press the keyboard enter button just call this function okay display message right and inside this just write here the dollar event dot target dot value okay uh, it will it will pass the text area value inside this function all right i'll save this file and uh, just uh, display this message inside the component view file so just write here message and inside the double quotation bracket just write here dollar message all right add here the br tag and also here and here all right now save this file and uh, let's check so let's refresh the page and here you can see the text area all right now let's enter any text message here uh, let's say text message all right now just press enter and here you can see after the pressing enter key you can see here the text area contained here all right and if i just type here one two, uh, two three four six nine six seven nine and now press enter and here you can see the text all right now let's see the submit action okay so for that inside the component view file let's create a form here so just write here form and inside this form let's create two input fields so just write here input type x is equal to text and uh, let the name is equal to name one num one all right let's close this now just copy and paste here and change the name num two all right and also create a submit button so just write here button and type is equal to submit and add here the text let the text is get uh, let's say submit right now inside this action component file class file let's create a function here 
and before creating the function just create two property here public dollar num1 and uh, public dollar num2 all right now inside uh, here let's create a function public function and function name let the function name is get sum all right and uh, inside this sum function just uh, add this, uh, this property num1 and num2 and assign this uh, assign the sum of these two number inside this sum property okay so for that just write here dollar this error sum is equal to dollar num1 plus dollar num2 right uh, for accessing this num1 and num2 property just write here dollar this arrow num1 and dollar this arrow num2 all right now save this file and now just go inside the action component view file view file and uh, here let's bind uh, this property to the input text field so for binding uh, just write here wire colon model is equal to uh, property name which is num1 okay this one so just write here num1 and now just copy this and just paste inside the second input field and change here to all right inside this form uh, Let's add the submit action. So for that, just write here y colon and add here the submit action. Also prevent the default functionality of submit button. So just write here prevent. All right, and then just write here is equal to colon colon and add the function name get sum. All right. Now save this file. Now let's check this. So, just to the browser and just refresh the page. And here you can see also add here contact uh, num1 and uh, enter num1 and enter num2. All right. Now save this file and. Uh, Just refresh the page all right now just enter the first number uh, let's say 90 and uh, start here the second number let's say 30 all right now just click on submit and here you can see the result sum of these two number 90 or 30 if i change the number uh, let's say 40 now click on submit and you can see here 130 Alright, so in this way you can use live wire action. So that's all about live wire action. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.